Hey YouTube, my name is Andre and I want to show you the tutorial on how to transfer uh, a video to your iPhone or an iPad. Now let's start with the fact that um, recently iPhone uh, changed the application that lets you view the videos. Before it used to be called video, now they renamed it and the new application is called TV. Okay, so let me launch it really quick and as you can see uh, the application uh, TV now has both uh, movies that you can purchase um, as well as you can watch your own uh, personal videos that you transfer and you will find them right here at home videos. So when I open my iPhone um, I actually have one uh, sample video uh, 003 that I shot and I'm just gonna play it for you so you guys can see that indeed this is a video. Here we go it's just a little video that I shot on a wedding recently and uh, the reason why it's freezing um, I think it's because I'm using the cable to play the video and uh, it couldn't buffer fast enough but the video is flawlessly okay so how to transfer any video uh, let's start by opening uh, iTunes the first step is obviously you have to connect your phone uh, with lightning cable to your computer and then once you open iTunes you have to launch uh, click this little icon that is actually your phone okay now you're gonna get frustrated okay look at the video I'm just playing a really quick mp4 video so you can indeed see it's a video but when I drag it nothing is happening okay it is mp4 video iTunes like mp4 videos okay so if you have a different format this is one of the reasons why it might not play but look at this right now I'm dragging the video everywhere and nothing is happening so this is very very frustrating so what you have to do is actually you have to click on this icon again and at the bottom you have to click manually manage music and videos you have to turn on but look when you click apply you got a warning it says sync with iTunes library will replace media uh, from another iTunes library okay so this is what a lot of people find frustrating including me that means that if you take your phone and hook it to another computer let's say you have few computers at home you have a desktop you have a laptop and some of the videos you have it on a desktop other videos you have it on a laptop if you decide to add a video to your iPhone with another computer it will not let you transfer it you simply have to erase all your existing videos on iPhone before before it lets you do it why because it actually actually it explains that uh, iTunes will only it actually says at the bottom look it says an iPhone can only sync with one iTunes library at a time so a lot of people find this frustrating and I'm gonna show you another way today how to transfer the video so just in case you don't care about your existing videos you can still click agree and I'm gonna go ahead and do this but I click yes and now look it actually allows me to transfer the video and uh, as you can see uh, the video is inside uh, iPhone now and I'm gonna show you uh, my iPhone screen look I'm gonna play the video right here so this is a video about the cancer uh, and I'm going to also launch a TV app go to my home videos and as you can see same video is right here I'm just gonna play a few seconds so you can see that indeed this is the same video okay so unfortunately um, you will have to um, only work with one library and that's the only first part now the second part is if you still have a trouble you have to make sure your video is in mp4 format and if it's not you actually um, have to uh, transcode or format your video in a different uh, format personally I like um, software handbrake uh, if you never heard of it before just google the word handbrake and uh, download software and it's fairly simple you just choose the video you want to uh, transcode in a different format uh, choose the output folder make sure it says mp4 and h264 codec click on uh, next and you're ready to go and in a few minutes or depending how large your video is you will have a video in mp4 format and uh, once you 
um, have that, you should have no problem. Now let me show you a different way uh, how to transfer um, a video to your iPhone. Now the first thing you need to do is launch App Store app on your iPhone and search for software that's called VLC for mobile. Once you have this app downloaded, go ahead, click on it, and then you will have to click on icon at the top left corner, VLC icon that looks like a, a construction cone. And at the left side, you will have this menu. Make sure enable sharing via Wi-Fi. Once you do this, you will actually see IP address. Once you know the IP address, launch browser. It can be Safari, it can be Chrome, doesn't matter. It will work on both and type this IP address on your browser. And when you do this, uh, this nice uh, menu will open and it actually says drop files here. All you have to do is take any video, drop it to the top portion of this window that says drop files and that's it. Look how simple. And not only you, and with this method, you don't actually have to have videos in MP4, VLC player, will play pretty much any format and look it took me a few seconds and now I can see the video inside VLC mobile app and you can see I can play it just fine so this is a really convenient way to do it but you have to make sure now with VLC you'll actually able to view all these videos inside the actual VLC mobile app okay Okay guys, I hope you find this tutorial useful. If you are frustrated with the fact that you have to transfer certain video into MP4 format or you don't like the fact that you're very limited to one computer, um, the second option uh, with VLC Mobile maybe is for you. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you comment and put a like. Thank you so much. Until next time.